So we're going to begin to practice just a, a brief version of the life visioning process now. I invite you to just uh, find a comfortable seat, to place your feet on the ground, uncross everything. Don't have your arms crossed, don't have your legs crossed. Have your back straight without being rigid. Just have your hands facing upward as a sign of receptivity. I invite you just to deep, have a deep inhalation. <sighs> Begin to close the outer eye. And become aware that in this instant you're surrounded by a, a sense of love. I want you to think for a moment of a time in your life where you were in the field of unconditional love. What does that mean? Maybe you were in the presence of a grandparent or a friend, an associate, that just loved you no matter what. It wasn't because of some great thing you did. It wasn't diminished because of a mistake you made. They just loved you. It's unconditional. I want you to remember such a moment. And as you're remembering such a moment, Understand that that is an infinitesimal part of how you are loved by the universal presence. And once you begin to feel that you're surrounded by this loving presence, and with every breath that you're now taking, this love field is being amplified so that we're beginning the life visioning process in a field of love and safety and security. Ah, surrounded by love. Now in this feeling of, of love, this is not sweet, sentimental love. This is a total givingness of the universal presence that's embracing you right now. And you're becoming more aware of it. Now I want you to begin to ask a question and understand that the universal presence by its law answers the questions that you ask. And so we begin to ask now. We're gonna ask in a couple of ways. What is the highest vision of my life? This universal presence, what is its idea of me? What is the next stage of my own unfolding? What's trying to emerge in my life right now? Now, you're asking this question, and you can ask it any way you want. What's the next great vision of my life? What's trying to unfold in my life? What's seeking to emerge in my life? What gift and talents are trying to be expressed in my life? You're making yourself receptive to the answer. Because always there is something trying to emerge through you. The next great vision and version of yourself is trying to happen. And because of your interest and your willingness to sit in this love field and ask, this soulful question, you're now beginning to listen and beginning to hear and beginning to feel and intuit and directly know what's next for you. Just sit with that for a few seconds. What is the great vision of my life? What's trying to emerge right now? without any sense of censorship or denial, we're becoming more and more aware that there's something within us that was not given to us by the world, by heredity, by circumstances, that wants to come forward. 
and we're giving it permission to articulate itself through us by a deep feeling, a direct intuitive hit, a direct knowing. Some people are prone to images or sounds, or feelings or a combination. But by asking the question, we're setting something in motion right now. Be with it for just another few seconds. Be aware that you have simultaneous awareness. That is, you can be aware of more than one thing at one time. You can be aware that you've asked this question that's taking you uh, beyond your present circumstance, what's seeking to emerge through me right now. And you can be aware of this next question. What is it that I must become? in order to manifest the vision that's beginning to articulate itself through me right now. This is my growing edge. What must I become? Where must I grow in my own life in order to be a vehicle for this transcendent vision that wants to express through me right now? Again, no censorship, no judgment. Where must I grow? There is a sacred law that you can't really have in your life which you're not willing to become vibrationally. What must I become? Where must I grow? There's no judgment or guilt or shame here, just awareness. Some people need to grow in becoming more, more loving or more self-loving. Whatever it is, no judgment, just be aware that there's a vision speaking to you and an area of growth or areas of growth. Now, you're embracing a vision that's articulating itself through you, through feeling, sight, sound, intuition, and you're embracing an answer to a question, where must I grow? What must I become to be the opening for this vision to manifest? We're listening with the inner ear. We slowly segue to another question. What is it that I can now let go of that no longer serves me in my life and no longer serves the manifestation of this vision? Again, there's no judgment here. There may have been something in our past that served us that doesn't serve us right now. It could be a conversation, a habit, a way of thinking, something that protected us, a coping mechanism. But today, it's no longer needed. What is it that I can now let go of? It doesn't serve me any longer, nor serve the vision. Just be aware of what's coming through. No judgment, just awareness. Now this is a very important question. What do I already have that can be in service to the vision? Why is this important? Because there is a law that states, to he or she who has, more shall be given. To he or she who has not, that which they have shall be taken away. What does that mean? 
when you walk around with the feeling of having, the universal law matches that vibration. So we begin with, what do I already have? What resources that I may be taking for granted in my life that can be in service to the vision that's now articulating itself? What do I have? Let it just flow through you. There may be some things, some talents, some gifts, some latent gifts within you that are so close to you, you don't even think about them but you want to think about them so that you can embrace having. What do I have that can be in service to the vision? Listen with the inner ear. And so the vision that which is intrinsic to you, that which is unique to you, is speaking. You're beginning to catch the feeling tone of it. What you must become, your growing edge, you're beginning to feel into it and hear it. which you can now let go of that doesn't serve you, you're beginning to be aware of it. What you already have, you're beginning to feel that and feel into the frequency of being and having. And we're embracing all of this in the tonal quality of willingness. Where there is willingness, there is a way. Everything always begins with willingness. And so as you think about the vision, as you consider your becoming, as you consider your letting go, as you consider your having, feel into the frequency of willingness. Think about a moment in your life where you didn't know how you were going to do something, but you became willing anyway. You may not have known the how, but you became willing to walk in that direction and you discovered when you did, things came into place because of your willingness. Catch that feeling tone of willingness right now. Take a deep and pure inhalation and magnify the feeling of willingness. Let it be magnified with every breath. I am willing, I am able, I am open, I can. It is in this dynamic that I have the privilege and the honor of activating each and every individual listening right here and right now with this vibrational word that I'm now releasing speaking it for each and every individual here, that their ability to catch the vision is amplified. Their, their ability to synthesize it, to, to feel it, to hear it, is amplified. That dynamic willingness to embrace their becoming, to embrace their they're, they're letting go of anything that hinders their ability to, to embrace what they already have. All of this is being amplified now by the power and the frequency of the word that's now being spoken, for the word that is being spoken is a law unto itself that only knows its own fulfillment. Nothing can hinder this. So everyone in the sound of my voice are feeling into the sacred vision of their own soul, setting something in motion that will bring into their awareness the next stage and step of their own becoming. This is what I'm knowing and feeling and sensing and accepting right now. I feel it in my bones. And I give thanks that this is already done in infinite mind. It is unfolding with an ease and a grace and an elegance. And it's happening right now. 